To change the world, you must craft a blueprint for the new reality. Any work of art will do, as long as it's a genuine act of creation. That's what the energies of the dark place respond to. The results may be subtle and perplexing, or far-ranging and momentous. My area of expertise, the written word, gives much more precise results than music or interpretive dance would, for instance. But words can be extremely dangerous. What you define may become reality, but so can that which you imply, even if you don't realize you're doing so. For Serena Valdivia, burning the midnight oil was more of an exception than a rule. A procrastinator and a perfectionist, she often worked when she wouldn't be disturbed. Tonight was especially important. The film festival would open tomorrow, and there was still so much to sort out. It wasn't that the work hadn't been done. She just didn't feel like she had completely mastered everything yet. There's more to fighting the Taken than just burning away the darkness that protects them. When I'm fighting for my life, I find myself slipping into a state of intense concentration that makes the beam of my flashlight seem more powerful and focused. I used to think it was just my imagination, something brought on by the adrenaline and fear of death, but now I'm not so sure. I've been touched by powers that I can't begin to truly comprehend, and they've left a mark. I'm starting to think this might be a part of it. Oh man, I'm poorly timing this. Uh, that was really stupid of me. Oh well, there's a safe haven over there anyways. Never getting out of this wake, never! Don't worry, I'll take care of your wife and your life! think you're doing, but I'll send you right back to the beginning. What? 
You think whatever it is you're gonna do is gonna make a difference? This'll end up just like before! Now this time there's going to be four of those pipes coming up from the ground instead of three, so just be wary of that. There's actually a couple of things I'm going to do real quick before I go into the projector room. I've been around for a while now, you know? Well, you've been... indisposed? Stuck in the darkness? I've been busy. I operate in the shadows. Not always literally, you understand? I'm a little more resilient than those I've taken. But I do my best work in the dark. Ah. And there's so much darkness out there! It goes deep! And the things that live in it are vast, big bastards! They don't mind getting a little bit of elbow room? All that chaos and madness... It doesn't really do that much down there. It's like pouring a glass of water into the ocean, right? But up here? Yeah. You can really make an impact. All they need is someone to bring them all the way through. But first, I had to take care of you, you party pooper. You're stuck in an eternal cycle now. The sun's never coming up for you. Everything else? Do my thing? Getting a bit of quality time with Alice? <laughs> That's a little something for me. And I deserve it. I'm hoping I can put an end to this now. You'd better. I really don't want that to happen to me again. It's like somebody vomited in my brain. Like a sleazy movie that keeps looping in my head. I'll stop this, I swear. You know the part that's really screwed up? If you mess it up, it'll just keep happening forever, right? I don't think I can deal with that. Don't think about that. I don't think of anything but. Hey, afterwards, when all this is done, look me up. This thing, I can probably help you deal with it. I don't know. It's almost like I'm not even in the same world anymore. Everything's just weird now. Yeah, I know. A lot of that'll pass with time. But being touched by the darkness, it's rough on you. It's a lot to process. And I just don't want you to get completely screwed up by this. 
Might be a little late for that, to be honest. Yeah, well, there's degrees. At least you're not at a point where you go around picking fights with people over not changing their light bulbs often enough. What? Never mind. All I'm saying is, you're not alone with this. In any way, you're friends with Alice, so, you know, any friend of hers. Thank you. Hello, folks, and welcome to the third part of our pre-recorded interview with Serena Valdivia and renowned photographer Alice Wake. So, uh, tell me about the film. It's called Sunrise, and it really wasn't something I ever thought of as an actual film. It was just footage, things I saw and happened to shoot. It's not a medium I'm very much at home with. You shouldn't put yourself down. You've got a great eye. Maybe, but experience is another thing. Because you're primarily a still photographer. Yes, exactly. So I'm really used to thinking of the world in terms of snapshots. I frame something and try to pick the right moment and then reveal that moment to people. Moving images are a different story. I'm still learning a lot about it, to be honest. So this is a new thing for you? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a slow learner. But showing it like this is definitely a new step for me. It's a little weird taking something this intimate and showing it to everybody. Not that the material itself is somehow shocking. It's just that those were private moments. But that's why it works, because it feels genuine. It's not so much a story as it is a sort of an echo, showing us how you saw your husband at the time. It's not really about the sunrise itself or Alan watching it. It's about you two together, I suppose. It's funny looking at it now, especially now that it's been edited like that. It takes on a life of its own almost. It's a kind of a fantasy. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. No, you're right. I'm glad you talked me into it. When the dark man's eyes suddenly locked into Serena's, she flushed hot. They ignited a black fire in her. He was talking. He wanted the power turned off. He said something about the projector booth. She hooked a finger under his belt buckle. He grabbed a hold of her throat and twisted until it hurt. Somewhere deep inside, a part of her screamed in paralyzed horror. But the moan that escaped from her throat had no panic in it. Pay attention, he said. Business first. His eyes glittered shamelessly. Hers did too. The clothes I wear now I shaped from dreams and memories. It's an old outfit originally from the 90s. The last time I wore it was when I was still writing and Alice and I took a vacation in the desert before our troubles began. The night before, we'd been at a party and I had dressed to the nines. On that lazy day, I put on these old clothes worn and comfortable. Alice made a joke about grunge. I felt a little embarrassed, but I stuck with them. We were very happy. I'm sheathed in good memories to remind myself of what is at stake. I held the film canister in my hands. I saw her name written across it in big letters followed by the title. It was a time capsule, moments snatched from times gone by, from a past that I hoped could also be our future. It was my salvation, our salvation, our chance to be together. A tin can with a bit of magic in it that she didn't even know about something I could put to good use. There were only moments left before I had to face him. Again, the champion of light enters the final trap. The new reality is almost here. All he needs to do is change the details of the scene, push it past the breaking point, and the rest will snap into place.
So there's one last piece to the puzzle which is to get the film reel and put it into the projector. too long, enveloped in the light of a glorious dawn. They both feel it. He's home at last. Are these actual events or merely a dream, a memory or a glimpse of what is to come? One thing is certain. This scene takes place in another time and another place, far, far away from Night Springs. I'm going to skip the credits because nothing happens in between the credits, but there is an ending movie after the credits that I'm going to let you see real quick. And that's it for Alan Wake's American Nightmare. I hope you enjoyed this uh, walkthrough. And like I said, um, this game was actually a spin-off title, so everything that happened in this game is probably not going to happen in the sequel. It probably won't be mentioned, and it won't have any impact in the sequel, I don't think. Um, perhaps, maybe so it might, but uh, most likely, probably not. There might be some things here and there that are probably going to be similar in the sequel, but so far this game is just considered a spin-off and not to be taken as canon uh, it's just a spin-off story uh, so don't think that this is a this is a, like a segue into the sequel because it's not it has been officially confirmed that it is so but other, but it's still a great game you know I really enjoy it and it's um it's really really fun then there's also an arcade mode which is basically a horde mode where to survive for 10 minutes which is actually really nice it's, it's pretty challenging if you want a challenge you could definitely play the arcade mode on nightmare and you'll get a big challenge and so the, and the story was good despite it being just a spin-off title it is a really good story I liked it a lot and it actually could you know be a segue for the sequel uh, if need be um, but uh, but yeah so uh, it's a really good game and I recommend it for people out there who are Alan Wake fans you know if you enjoyed the first one you're definitely gonna like this one they improved the game a little bit you know made minor tweaks here and there to the gameplay which makes the the overall game really really nice 
And I will say this, there's actually an Easter egg. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but uh, there's an Easter egg in the game where um, if there's you listen to a song called Balance Slays the Demon, you can find that song on YouTube. It actually has a hidden message in that song, so if you play the song backwards, the message says it's going to happen again in another town, in a town called Ordinary. So perhaps Ordinary, uh, the other town, is where Alan Wake 2 is going to take place. Uh, that's my thought on it. So um, you can check it out on YouTube. Just uh, look on YouTube. Look for uh, Alan Wake Balance Slays the Demon. And then look for Hidden Message. And you'll see that it says that, you know, that uh, another town called Ordinary is going to have it happen to it. Have something happen to it. Uh, so that's interesting to know. So maybe there is going to be a sequel to Alan Wake after all. And I heard Alan Wake sold over 2 million copies. So that definitely means a sequel is probably on its way. So yeah, that's good. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough, and I'll see you guys later.